Hello, hello. My name is Sophia, and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Are There Only Two Types of People in This World? An OSINT Analysis. Today, as I was scrolling through my LinkedIn's home feed, I came across this image that had been liked by someone from my network. And this is the picture you have. There are two types of people in this world. 100 emoji, and there's one picture and another picture, and you have happy face, sad face. So it depicts two female tennis players, Serena Williams and Marie Sharapova, each picture showing one holding an award while the other one watches in the background. The caption, there are two types of people in this world, implies that some people will be happy with your success, happy, whilst others will be jealous, slash upset, slash resentful, like this one here. The image had been reacted by over 2,000 people, you go, 2,089 people, and has been posted to a LinkedIn page followed by almost 287,000 people. So, you go, 206, 200. If you have been on the internet for the past 15 years, this sort of image compilation should not be anything new to you. A carefully selected image or images with a short, insightful quote to go along. I would have no problems with it apart from the fact that it's using real people to pass some sort of moral lesson and in the process labeling one of the tennis players as the good one and the other one as the bad one. So good, happy, bad, sad. The issue with using photos to prove any information is that not only it will select an instant in time to immortalize that could or not be deceitful, but it can also be edited with easily accessible software. The last 15 years have seen a high rise of disinformation, unreliable information and plain propaganda being shared online in exchange for likes, follows and quick reactions. This growing issue was exacerbated in the last couple of years with an out of control pandemic and the growing population more willing to believe in this type of image rather than the scientific community. I'm looking at you, COVID. So how do we stop this from happening? We educate others and ourselves on how to search for factual information, be suspicious of images with no sources or backstory and stop sharing misinformation. So let's look at this image of Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova to find out exactly what happened before they became a black and white dichotomy. After saving the image from LinkedIn, I did a quick image reverse search using Yandex, Bing, Google and TinEye. The first three were useful to find the original colored images, but I was mostly interested in using TinEye due to the very useful option they have. So you can select to sort the results by older, therefore showing you the first time the image was found online. So look at that, sort by oldest. According to TinEye, this image with the two photographs on top of each other was first shared on Imgur on the 3rd of February 2016. So you go there, February 3rd, 2016, and another result there, same. And here is the picture we found on Imgur, still same date there. So now let's try to find out a bit more about the images in question. I'll be focusing on the bottom picture as the top one seems to be portraying both players in a good light. For that, I just crop the bottom image and do a reverse search on TNI again to track down its origin. Go. We quickly find out that the image of Serena Williams with the prize was first published online on 31st January 2015. So you go there, January 31st, 2015 over a year before it became some sort of low-effort meme. So now that we know around what time the photograph was taken, we can use a Google search and select Tools, Time, Custom Range. So, we'll show here. So we have here Serena Williams versus Marie Sharapova. If we click Tools, you have the option of... There you go. By default, it has any time, but you just put Custom Range, and here you can just put put just the year of 2015. So you just have to do like the American way with the month first. So confusing. Anyway, and so all the results will be between the 1st January 2015 and the 3rd, 1st December 2015. Back again. So then we can choose give us results post 2015, which I just show you. We can spot on the results shown below in the video section there some relevant information. So on the 31st January 2015, there was a tennis final between Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova, 
We have already previously seen this date on a T9 result, indicating it as the oldest posted time of the photo of a happy Serena and not so happy Maria. So we have like 31st January 2015, if you go up, there you go, it's the first same date of when this photo showed up, which makes sense. So if we narrow the date even more to only show results from January, using the same technique I just showed you, we find an article that gives a bit more context to the image. So it'll say, Serena Williams beats Maria Sharapova in straight sets as world number one claims her sixth Australian Open title. Now that we know it was the final of the 2015 Australian Open, we can use that to find some more media from the event. A quick Google image search with the keywords Serena Williams versus Maria Sharapova, Australian Open 2015, no quotes, gives us the following results. And this is what you get. There's already a good mix of photos of the players. You have happy faces, bored faces, tired faces. I chose to click on the last of this list as it links to an article on Forbes.com, a very reliable and credible magazine. So this is it, click and got this one. So on the website, we can see the photo with the following caption. Williams and Sharapova shake hands after their latest match in the women's singles final at 2015 Australian Open. If we compare their outfits and hairstyle with the photo from the meme, here you go, that's the meme we found, wasn't it? Shared on LinkedIn, we can see that they match. This information, plus the date of when the image had first been shared, confirmed it's likely that it took place at the same event. So at this point, we can conclude that the image above was carefully chosen to depict Maria Sharapova in a bad light, as we can see her on the left image congratulating Serena Williams after her win with a smile. So we can try to guess why Sharapova is not smiling in the first picture. Was she angry or sad for not winning? Was she worried about the looming clouds and the clothes she left to dry in the balcony? Was she craving some Vegemite toast and just wanted Williams to hurry up with her speech? We'll never know, so maybe we should just stop making assumptions. So to conclude, yes, there are two types of people in this world, the ones that believe in any nonsense shared on social media and the ones that don't. Oh god, it sounds so preachy. <laughs> I'm joking. Humans are complex creatures and the world is not black and white. Stay safe out there. Thank you for listening. Sophia.